Hello Greens, today I am introducing you to Dragon Tree, which comes from the Greek word, which means female dragon. And Dracenia, they have about 120 species and I have two species at home. I will be not going into all the names. So the ones you can see, the first one is the Dracaena marginata, which has narrow slender grey stems topped with shiny leaves, like which are sword shaped. And in spring outdoor varieties, you can also see white flowers and uh, circular berries. Uh, they can grow up to 20 feet in pots up to 6 feet and they need well-drained soil. These plants became very famous when NASA uh, study came out that they are excellent for removing toxins like benzene, form formaldehyde, xylene, tolin. These are poisonous uh, not to humans but to cats and dogs. There are 120 species and the ones you can see is the Song of India, Jamaica, uh, Dracaena reflexa and the first one is Dracaena uh, marginata and it's a very famous indoor plant hi everybody so this is a ornamental plant a shrub which is commonly called as frangipani or white frangipani its scientific name is plumeria alba and it belongs to the family aposinaceae so as you see these have waxy leaves and these leaves they shed like you can see here they turn yellowish brown and they dry up like this and they start shedding and these they have a very beautiful fragrant uh, white flowers that are again they are not very thin but they are waxy but not too waxy like an aloe and they have a yellow, bright yellow center. So these are very fragrant flowers and they grow in clusters always. You can see another bunch right above there. So these plants, these shrubs actually, they do not grow for uh, very tall. They are shrubby and we have this since more than a year or two years and it has just grown up to this height. So it does not grow very tall. You can compare it to the ornamental uh, tree there. So these are native to Central Af America and the Caribbean. But right now it is common and naturally present in South and Southeast Asia. It is also the national flower of Laos. And it is considered a symbol of luck. In Laos, it is called as Dok Champa. Here in India, it is called as Frangipani or White Frangipani. It usually grows in hot climates where there is sun throughout the year and does not grow well in winter uh, areas. And growing can be done through seeds if you find some, if you get it through a nursery, or you can, if you find it in your local parks or in someone's house, you can take its cutting and let the cutting dry the tip of it dry and then you can plant these uh, dried cuttings when now uh, in a pot first in a pot and when they start getting a little foliage that is when you can plant it on ground we have planted it on a lawn here so yeah Hi friends, this is uh, an ordinary money plant that I have in the uh, in my garden and uh, I think its scientific name is Epipremnum aureum and uh, I am told it is native to the islands of French Polynesia. Uh, we have been told as children that if you have a money plant in your house, uh, you will always uh, your coffers will never be empty and uh, you will have lots of money. Plus, if you look at the leaves, they are kind of heart-shaped. And uh, I am told if you stretch your imagination a little bit, then maybe they look like a coin and hence they are called a money plant. And I have put a small uh, yellow tile here just for colour. And I am hoping that uh, I just began my garden about... Um, six seven months ago i'm hoping this will grow up into a nice big creeper inshallah 
This is jasmine grandiflorum, a different variety of jasmine. It is also known as Spanish jasmine, royal jasmine, jati or jaji mallige in Canada. It is mainly found in Bangalore, Chikmangalore, Tavangere, Udupi and Dakshin Canada. It is a climbing shrub cultivated in gardens and requires support. The plant remains productive for 10 to 15 years but if managed well could live longer. Methyl jasminate isolated from the jasmine oil of this plant led to the discovery of the molecular structure of jasminate, the plant hormone. It is popular as an alternative to the standard western allopathic medicine for variety of problems including cancer, especially of the bone, lymph nodes and breast, and stress relief, anxiety as well as depression. The leaves are chewed as a remedy for ulcers of erup or eruptions in the mouth. Hello everyone, let me introduce you to the tree of life, which is the coconut tree, scientifically known as the Cocos nucifera. The name coconut is derived from the 16th century Portuguese and Spanish word coco, meaning head or skull, after the three indentations on the coconut shell. It is endemic to the tropical and subtropical regions and belongs to the Aracaceae or palm family and is the only living species of the genus Cocos. Uh, the tree can grow up to 30 meter or 98 feet tall and the leaf fronds can be 4 to 6 meter long. The leaf fronds of our tree are not exactly healthy. Ironically, the seed of the tree is not a nut but it's a drupe. And as you know, coconut yields many products like coconut water, coconut milk, coir, wood, leaves, copra. Nothing exactly goes wasted. I would like to bring to notice a fact that in Thailand and Malaysia, trained pigtail macaques are used to harvest coconuts and their competition sell to find the fastest harvester. This exactly is a frowned upon practice which is used in the tropics.